Okay, me and Tristan are reacting to every Sith ever. So, yeah. let's go. Experience the full power of the dark side. <laughs> the ancient enemies of the Jedi Knights, the Sith Order, originated thousands of years before the Clone Wars, using the dark side of the Force to pursue their aggressive Sith Holocron. Ways. The earliest of their kind yeah. were brothers to the Jedi before they began to mine. Remember that from Rise of Skywalker? And oh, yeah. The dark side. A period known as the Hundred Year Darkness followed, and soon the Sith were born. One of the most notorious Sith was Darth Bane. The Jedi Master Yoda once traveled to One of the, the first Sith, Sith homeworld Moraban, where he encountered an apparent illusion in the form of the long dead Bane. Why do you come to my tomb, Jedi? As well as other Sith warrior apparitions. In Bane's time a millennium earlier, he developed the Rule of Two, ensuring that there would only be a master and an apprentice Sith Lord active at any given time. Darth Bane's I apprentice. To pass my knowledge on to only one. This was in response to the natural inclination of the Sith to fight and often kill each other, which left them weak in their battles with the Jedi. For a thousand years, the Sith endured the shadows through the Rule of Two. Darth Plagueis. Emerged. While little is Remember him? This mysterious figure, he said to have learned to hmm. use the force to create life and prevent death. <laughs> Episode one: The Phantom Menace. Time, yeah. Plagueis was murdered by his he apprentice. He knows Darth more Sidious, Star Wars than me. As Senator and then Chancellor Palpatine, Sidious would soon come to achieve the great Sith dream of unlimited power. Transition of the Republic into the Empire. Once more. The Sith will rule the galaxy. Sidious burned through several apprentices over the ensuing years, including the fearsome Darth Maul, who famously dueled the Jedi Knights Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan Kenobi during the Battle of Naboo. And then that happened. Another of his apprentices was Darth Tyrannus, also known as the former Jedi Count Dooku. That's great. There have also been several Dark Force users who have never actually become or even aspired to be Lords of the Sith. This includes Dooku's one-time apprentice Asajj Ventress. An apprentice to the apprentice, Ventress would have likely ascended to full Sith and attained the title of Darth had Dooku slain his master. How predictable. Trainees like this <laughs> often operated in secret, waiting in the wings for the current Sith master to be killed. Ventress came from the Night Sisters clan, a group of witches led by Mother Talzin. You have heard of the Sith warrior, Darth Maul. While she was the clan mother, Talzin was also literally the mother of Darth Maul and Savage Opress. It was Opress who served as Maul's apprentice after Maul was abandoned by his old master, Sidious. You must have your revenge, my brother. He was ultimately killed by the Dark Lord, however. That's Mr. Krabs, the guy who voices that guy, Asa Savage Opress. The son was a force addict, said to embody the dark side while his sister personified the light. Their father was the balance between the two. We will destroy the Sith and the Jedi. And Dooku isn't the only Jedi to fall to the dark side. Hong Krell betrayed his comrades when he foresaw the end of the Republic. All in my paw. But his clone troopers discovered his Hong betrayal Krell. at the Battle of Umbara, and he was soon killed by one of his own men. And Barriss Offee came to believe that her fellow Jedi were the true villains of the Clone Wars. In protest, she coordinated a bombing of the Jedi Temple that killed several of her colleagues. The only thing the Jedi Council believes in is violence. Quinlan Vos was a Jedi who fell to the dark side as Count Dooku's apprentice. He would be redeemed tragically when his former lover, Asajj Ventress, sacrificed herself to save him. Yeah, I read the briefing about that mess. Of course, <laughs> Anakin Skywalker's journey to the dark side and his transformation into Darth Vader is at the very end of the Star Wars saga. Just as his black suit and red bladed lightsaber are the basis for the many Sith who followed since A New Hope. When I left you, I was but uh -oh. a Now I am the master. In the years following the Jedi Purge of Order 66, the Emperor created the Inquisitorius, initially led by the Grand Inquisitor. Tragically, this figure had once been a Jedi himself, sworn to protect the Order as a temple guard. But that devotion was perverted and destroyed by Vader and the Emperor at last. A fight that might be worthy of my time. The Inquisitors were Dark Force adepts who were trained by Vader to hunt down the scattered few Jedi who would survive the purge. It was to me 
seventh sister. Only when you're wrong, fifth brother. Meanwhile, when the rebel Ezra Bridger visited the blighted world of Malachor, he discovered an ancient Sith holocron that rejected the voice of an apparently long-dead Sith Lord known only as the Presence. Knowledge is power. This presence slowly worked to seduce young Ezra to the dark side as well. Ezra Ridger. Remember him? When did Kana teach you that? He did. Mm. No new Sith are known to have emerged in the decades that follow, and the Order seems to have ended with the demise of Darth Vader and the Emperor. This is the emergence of my, Vader's my, grandson Kylo um, Ren and the Force Awakens. Um, a new dark side threat arrived from the Star Wars galaxy. One of my favorite characters. Galaxy. I can show you the ways of the Force! As a member of the mysterious Knights of Ren, Kylo, with his comrades, filled the hole left by the end of the Sith Lords, falling under the command of Snoke, Supreme Leader of the First Order. The Resistance must be destroyed before they get to Skywalker. Where the story of these new Dark Force users will go next remains to be seen, as does whether or not Lucasfilm will eventually decide to integrate any beloved expanded universe characters in the canon. These include figures like Darth Revan, who was introduced in the Knights Ren, of the Old Republic game mm -hmm. and almost made it into an episode of the Clone Wars series. Mara Jade was an assassin for the Emperor who later found redemption and love with Luke Skywalker. Joru Sabaoth was a bad Jedi clone who nearly defeated the combined forces of Luke, Han, Leia, and their allies. Shirelle was created for the Ewok TV movie The Battle for Endor before being retconned into the Night Sisters. Ultimately, it's clear the legacy and impact of the Sith will live on for many years to come. Search your feelings. Know it to be true. That was cool. What about yeah. you? Comment who is your favorite Sith. Like and subscribe. Yeah. See ya. Do this.